So we're reacting to this video. It's 55 minutes long. We might react to it all at once or maybe in different parts. I don't know. But this is Lex ranking every single zombie map. I've done this before. I want to do it again. I think we'll do that on tonight's stream. So we are here. We are ready to go. And he's going to probably explain it. Dude, I'm ready for this video. Ranking every single zombies map. From ranking every zombies map. Worst the best. But then as he does every single zombie map. I think there's no MW3 zombies. I think this was before MW3 zombies. I think Cold War's in here. All of Cold War. However, I will only be ranking 56 of them because the other 56. I will not be ranking because they are too similar are the Black Ops 1 remasters of the World of okay. map. Oh, map Black Ops 1's remastered. Ranked. Yeah, I, I would not I wouldn't rank them separate either. They're the exact same. will not have their specific spot on the list. Now also, we're going to be ranking these maps on how the map itself plays and not necessarily how great the game engine is on How great map. the game engine For is. Example, if we're talking Wait. about BO4, some BO4 maps might That's true. be better than some BO3 maps just because Oh, okay. Map I, I see what I see what he now means and what he's saying out of this. And turn will not be in yeah, you can't all, add grief well and turn. Those were fun. Those were so fun though. Subdivided into bus depot, farm, yep. Town, you gotta rank those separate as well. Towns Zelda town will be the highest out of them. It should be. These maps, so don't think I don't have any credit on this, and I have done all of the easter eggs for every single one of these maps so ladies and gentlemen let's do i need to the easter eggs for them let's see who the worst map beast from beyond beast from beyond beast from beyond this is the tortured path in World War II's really movie, okay the third dlc was called the tortured path. i and when this i think frozen dawn is worse than this map the worst it's it's definitely a bottom five, five map not but i'm surprised it's honestly this low i think there should definitely like there's definitely worse maps way too hardcore dedicated and especially when this map released a lot of these mini maps were locked until you beat the first map so you couldn't even play the dlc that you paid for true the playlist itself was locked you had to initially actually i if i'm being honest i don't even remember when this map came out it was a complete i have no idea when this map came out there are must do objectives was this dlc 3 frozen dawn was last right you literally get a game over. There's no second chance. <laughs> I don't even remember this. You get a game over if you don't do it. For hardcore players. And I could not hardcore players. I'm a hardcore player. Or player yeah. Why you would ever I'm going to be honest. I maybe, maybe played this map once or twice. I still think Frozen Dawn and Beast from Beyond are worse. But maybe, maybe he'll persuade me on some stuff. Map, I had to replay it for this video to understand how terrible it was genuinely one of the worst things i have ever played and i will never go back to play it ever again coming down to our number 59 spot we have infection and now the fun wow i do not agree with this infection deserves the hate it should be not the second worst map of all time dude i think frozen dawn is worse where's frozen dawn people don't even call it by its map name I... it is called burger town <laughs> it is called burger town oh it's burger town oh it's burger town <laughs> No, this map is called infection. Yeah, okay. whatever. Infection, I don't know. Be called the sewer because you get locked the sewer. Not a bad map name. I just still, dude. I, so I think there's some worse guns though. And is so Pack a punch system. What he is saying is true. Is the worst system. They failed us with the pack punch system. Terrible. Bad. Is about making a goddamn hamburger. What? Who's making hamburgers? I never really did the Easter egg. I can't say much on the Easter egg. What is? What is that doing? I don't remember people doing it. Completely unrelated. It's another one of the facility maps. And God, still, dude, I think it's better than some maps, so it's low, but should not be the low. Okay, Frozen Dawn. Okay, no, that's fair. That's fair. Fair. Beast from Beyond is okay. I don't know. Beast from Beyond is my least favorite Call of Duty map of all time. There's literally no zombies in it, really. I don't know. I I, I think it should be way. It should be last. Is it was specifically made it's, but it's, it definitely has a better boss. engine the than AW. I think that's why he's ranking it. Oh, the best experience. it is one of, ranked one of the best boss fights of all time. Okay, that does make sense. That makes sense. I've ever but I still think it's the worst map of all time. However, to get to that Mephistopheles boss fight point by playing this map was awful. The Easter egg was tedious. There was another boss fight before. Yeah, that was just I did the boss fight fight, but I didn't even do the Easter egg, if that makes sense. Zombies, I, I skipped that. 
it didn't make any sense in terms of how the zombie game started you would start up the game and motherfucking aliens would that's what i'm saying that's like, why it should be lower shit, like, what the fuck no zombies. zombies the fact there's no zombies right away means it should be way lower i don't understand what i don't trying to go for. they failed they failed this map, the map. worst map Again, of all time it's another facility it's just some random space facility and you go outside the whole pack much process is you just frozen dawn frozen dawn next like, what is going on in this map i don't understand. i do like the characters of iw x which i guess is cool from extinction but again if you don't like ex extinction like i do I'm, then it's gonna i only like the first extinction map come on wait get for this i'm gonna get hate for this i'm wait. gonna, for this. I'm gonna what is he gonna say what is he gonna say if he's gonna get hate for this no way is he gonna say transit no say I'm gonna say no i'm gonna say it it's blood of the dead on the oh okay fair blood of the dead is not good but frozen dawn is way worse i'm telling you if, you, if i had to go back and play a map right now I'm playing Blood of the Dead easily over Frozen Dawn. I'm never even. I'm not even gonna touch any World War II maps. Still, like they crack, LSD and dude, I all inside the I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't understand what's going on. I will say though that Blood of the Dead adds some of the best zombie dude, songs. Dude, Blood of the Dead, I had fun playing with people on. Game? Like, where are we going? It's definitely not as good as Mob of the Dead, not even close. But I, I don't know. There's still some maps I think are way worse. I hate it. It is awful. And coming down to our next spot, we have Bus Depot. Could you imagine? I like Bus Depot over Blood of the Dead. I, I'm torn on this. Bus Depot is a fun game mode, but does it deserve to be higher than almost every zombies map that he's already listed? I would play Infection over this. I would play Blood of the Dead over this. Definitely not beats from beyond. Okay. Overall, it should be placed this low. I I kind of agree with this. I still would play this over Frozen Dawn, this though. It is bare bones at its finest. Okay. I don't it is bare bones at its finest. Gameplay. There's, no perks in this There's literally game. nothing literally besides one door in a, in a box. And a mystery box. Yep. That's okay. It. <laughs> they have nothing else on this map. It's not forcing gameplay, for example. But again, your this is fun. run time on this map is about to be 10 minutes because there are two. It's a Did you just end stream earlier? Uh, no, I didn't. I think it just automatically restarted on its own, sadly. But we've still been going live the entire time. Okay, but then you got lava zombies coming at you, exploding you. Yeah, you I'd still play this over Beast from Beyond. Why even bother? All the Reagan Mark II is in this map as well. Oh, but the percentage chance. I don't think I've ever got the Reagan Mark II so in Metro. If I'm being honest. Difficult. There's no progression in this map. You Made a comeback, dude. It's it's Mr. T Lexify. But again, I would not the legend. I love Mr. T. 51. Frozen Dawn. Finally, dude. Finally, Finally he put Frozen Dawn in here. I think Frozen I Dawn think should be way lower. What up, Zora? How you doing? Similar to Bus Depot, but I find Metro? To be yeah. I, I don't know. Do I think this is the second worst zombies map of all time. There is I'm, pr to this I'm pretty sure the Easter egg was good in this map, though. Maybe that's why he ranked it up this high. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Suited for casuals at all. I don't know. Playing this map and Bus I Depot? Yeah. Anything. I don't know what anything see, was. this I map? Fell and died. I don't know. I don't, understand I don't like Frozen Dawn. This whole game. It doesn't make any sense. I can we'll let see. me tell you this, okay? The map is so difficult. Yeah. You get an achievement it, for opening the starting room. Exactly. Door. If you get an achievement for unlocking the starting room door, that means it's the worst map of all time. How bad do you have to be to not even unlock a starting room door? I don't get it. What is Frozen Dawn? It's a World War II zombies map. Why is this forehead so big? Okay, okay, we won't go there. Like, what is going on with that? <laughs> like, I'm walking around on this map, you open up doors, you waste all your money, and I'm just getting nothing. Exactly. The whole interesting part about this map I, is outside of the map. It's a outside of the map. You're like, oh my god, can I, 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 I'm, I, I play this map like three times. I don't like this map. You like World War II zombies? Really? Again, it is another hardcore experience that I just don't understand. The new hey, Whoa, what up, Mason? How you doing? Fast zombies i don't understand it's a boring zombies map it is boring super boring zombies map absolutely. that's why i think One it should be lower okay ever. he's pretty much got rid of all the zombies map i would get rid of so far i guess i don't know darkish world war ii zombies deserves to be this low final rank reich was good darkest shore i think is super underrated i don't know where he's gonna put that but i'm pretty sure he's gonna put that low Map I played was fun. And coming down to a next probably, spot, it was probably Final Reich. Are gonna hate me with this one. Oh god. It's Voyage of Despair, baby. Okay. It's a facility map inside good. The good. Good choice. The Titanic is not, not, not a great map. There's nothing about it that I, I like this. Like, man, no, this video is this video is old. 
on the Titanic. You're shooting planets. <laughs> I, I never really did these rags. But overall, I would I can't say too much about this. I'm about to have a whole ass heart attack just thinking about this map. This, the layout on this map is so confusing as well. Go the layout was confusing. Right, this matter. definitely this map had the opportunity to become the best zombies map of like all time, but they failed so hard. A setting on Titanic is what we needed and what we wanted. It, it still did not do that good though. I'm going out for dinner. See you in a few. It sounds good, Zoro. I'll still be here. Fucking Japan. I don't know where the hell I'm going on this map. There's nothing about this. The enemy variation is terrible. I don't know. Those shovel fuckers. I don't even know their names. They're the enemy variations were not fun. Just like the Raven, the Redwoods ape. I hate this map. It I love awesome. the Red Redwoods. I will say is one of the best boss fights ever. Oh. Get to that point with a Kraken and all of that. I did not know the boss fight was actually good in this. Full process, and I genuinely don't think I will ever go back to playing it. And that is not even including the hard mode gauntlet. And then the regular gauntlet on this map. Oh, get that out of here. Yeah. Get that out of here. Okay, now coming down to our next spot. This is the 49? Dark Shore. Now, one of the worst parts about the Dark Okay. So he really doesn't like World War II zombies. I don't... I'm not the biggest fan of World War II zombies. I think this map is a little underrated. I know you can't really see because there's like a lot of fog sometimes. But overall, I honestly like enjoyed this map. I enjoyed this. Has he posted another video yet? Uh, no, he has not. Who knows when he's coming back? If he does, I assume he's coming back, but I don't know when. Maybe not till Bo Six. That's true. The Meister Mucleers that they added for the boss fight was definitely interesting. They were terrifying. But again, what was the Another boss fight. I don't know about boss fights. Cool map. It was like you just kind of ended up. There's like just a random whale in the spawn room. Why is there, <laughs> there is a, a random whale in the spawn room. It's like Shido Numa though. I don't understand what this map was for. The Easter egg was very random. Like I literally remember this one clip of JC just in a gunner shooting down planes. And I just don't ever want to think about that ever again. Okay, so the darkest shore Talk is still going to remain down here. It's way too dark. The whistlings were brought back from this map yeah. the final Reich. Why? That was an L. Why? That was an L move Why? by them for this map. Why? I will never understand but I think this map is. I think this map's still a little underrated. Too many questionable features to its map. And coming down to our next spot. Forty-eight. This is the attack of the radioactive thing. Now the radioactive thing. Okay. For Infinite Warfare in DLC yeah. Three was also a forty-eight maps better than this map. Probably. Map. One of the biggest problems. I'm surprised he hasn't ranked Transit game. yet. I. I mean, I like Transit. I think Transit. Wherever he puts Transit, I think Transit should be a little bit higher. I don't know where he's going to place Transit. I imagine it's here soon. He's going to so definitely rank bland. Die Rise low, too. A part of his Easter egg where you have to switch the filter that you're looking through when you're playing. Yeah, that's true. The, the game... Like, imagine, could you imagine if you were colorblind <laughs> and you had to play that map? Or the game definitely starts off black and white. You have to, like, open up a couple doors and get power on. Yeah, the Easter egg. If you don't like Easter eggs, you will hate this map if you're forced to do the Easter egg. You would not like this map at all. I love that. I thought the boss fight was actually also boss really fight. Cool. I have seen and it was pretty sick. That they added was really cool and it's kind of what we saw in Black Ops 4 with zombie shell. I mean, overall, this map isn't way awful. Too many parts. The gameplay is way all over the place. The wonder weapon, the mad thing, the, the map mad thing, so mad thing. Like, and again, it's another map designed specifically for hardcore players. If hardcore players. Hardcore that makes sense. Players, don't even bother that this map in most of World War Two. Finally, we've hit it. Oh, transit. He's ranking transit. transit. Yep. It should be higher. It should be higher, but not too much higher. I would rather play transit over farm. That's the only map I can think of top of my head. You gotta bring these alien motherfuckers on your head, jump into a lamp post and hope for the best. Way too many parts. There's no accessible inventory. True. Again, the gameplay as well is awful with the fog reliance. You're relying on the best. Yeah, I love playing town too. Knuckles as well, where it's like, town will be rank high, I think. Jimmy Zelinsky, what were you thinking? Like, I literally remember YouTube videos. I think town will be ranked high. Zombies. Town's like, definitely a middle, a little and above middle to your map. I, know there's more. I, know I would rank, I would rank town I above there's... transit. But I would rate Transit higher than Farm and Metro, which he already did Metro, but I'm guessing he's going to get to Farm here soon. There's no way Farm gets, like, top 30. Oh, well, okay. He was talking about Farm. Oh, ad. But I would... I don't know. I would still rank 
transit above farm i think more enjoyable than transit it's the definitely like really bare bones but still fun is because you can actually get some perks yeah oh you God, can, you can you playing grief on this and was so fun and again, in turn grief mode was so fun in bo2 well, on farm they can do a lot of damage and again they're not as common because the lava part on farm is near the garage which is near the back but unfortunately they can still be a major pain in the ass yeah but also has a lot of tight corners so if you get stuck it's basically that is true game that's why i think i don't know a, a i'm definitely voting transit over farm cool. i think uh, uh, the train spaces as well in the map are quite good they're definitely better than bus depot but again the mm -hmm. perks are basically why it's above here and again i find the reagan mark ii to be just a tad bit easier to get on this map i feel like i never got the reagan mark ii now come down to our next spot it is new you never know what grief was um grief was like eight players in a single match 4v4 and it was basically like last man standing kind of vibe with like your team and your team had to survive like the longest town i don't nuke town ah oh, dude i love nuke town ah this hurts i think i think makes for zombies i think new town should be higher no it's funny because recently i just realized uh, yep i did see this part actually has zombies maps that are all remakes yep from all remakes the problem is or the difference is yeah i know what he's gonna say probably these maps are actually made with love and care and they are designed true i mean nuke town had to be made out of love and care i like nuke town like, zombies it's in, like, five rounds later, yeah it's completely all random again, it's all rng type luck it's way too bland it's not fun. It's not appealing. I still like it. People describe it as like the combat training of zombies. Yep. So if you like want to get better. Hey, if you want to get better at zombies, this map is definitely the, the way to play. It's like combat training in zombies is just every zombies map. So I don't know. It's, okay. It's definitely up to interpretation for Nuke Town. But come down to a next spot. It is Shaolin Shuffle. Now Shaolin Shuffle, it had a group. Hmm. Okay. I, I think I would play Attack of Radioactive more than this map. This map's layout is probably still like the most confusing layout ever i went back and played it i still don't even know where jug is i have no idea where jug is i have no idea where to where box is it'll show box i'll go over by box but then it'll be all the way on top of this roof i go on the way to the roof nope it's on the middle floor nope it's on the bottom floor i uh, this map's layout is so confusing you can become like a ninja turtle though <laughs> that was sick but the, one of the major quote unquote ninja turtle was so convoluted this this map was just it was all over Place. It was all over the place. Like, yep. From Morse code yep. Steps to, to fucking killing a was this map before map? Infinite was Warfare or before Attack of Radioactive? I, I don't say, know. Though, the New York setting in the background was incredible. The mm -hmm. karate was also one of the greatest additions in zombies. It just sucks that I'm the setting on this map was incredible. And can even become laggy and unplayable to the fact that you can fully lag out of your game just by <laughs> just. I, I don't think I ever had a problem with that. <laughs> the nunchucks were fun in this. And like the little wonder weapons. The four wonder weapon yep. Copies, and okay. That's not really good. Uh, there's no actual wonder weapon on the map. There's no gun. Like I guess there's the sword, the wolf sword, but it's not that good. And again, the sword. The okay. The tutorials on this map are a must. Like I swear, I had to look up the tutorial to find jug, to find juggernog. What did I just say? Bad when you have to look you can't find jug. I still don't even know where jug is, and I looked up a video. It is die rise. Now, no, die no. Rise. You guys know die rise is a top three map with me of all time. Everyone hates die rise. The remake for die rise though is supposed to make everyone like it. I don't know when that's coming out. I'm curious when that comes out if it's gonna be better than this because I'm a die rise lover. I'm so sad to see die rise right here. Ah, I love die rise. Let's hear it. I know I hear everything. Well, it's because I think it adds parkour. Parkour is something that zombies desperately Exactly, it should be higher than I think that would be so much fun It would add this incredibly fun skill aspect to the game But again, it just destroys the flow of the map with the elevators If you're waiting for elevators And uh, you can't grab the key Elevators so though? I don't think like it made it that much design. worse like, genuinely, Jimmy's It's good to see you, it's been a minute Yo, what up Jim, how you doing Jim? Welcome to the stream, how's it going? Linsky hated us I, I'm, I'm coming to the realization that Jimmy Zwinski hated us. He teased yeah. PhD Dude, one okay. on this map. <laughs> the funniest thing about this was that PhD was... PhD would have been perfect on this map. PhD was teased, and they just never put it in. Good bro at work? Hey, let's go. W work, W work. Same same here, but I'm at home <laughs> working. But made it so that you can't get it. <laughs> he hated us. This Dude, that, was, that is the funny part of Die Rise. Uh, these 
egg was so strange. Like I love the Easter egg. The ballistic knife. I love it. God knows what you're doing in that Easter egg. Like genuinely, the wall guns were also fantastic. Dude, AN94. Talk about it. I think you might did. Yep, AN94, greatest Call of Duty gun of all time, all time. How's it hard, bro? You you demand? Yo, I appreciate that, Jim. Seriously. Thank you so much. I respect that. Thank you for that comment. Seriously, zombies. thank you. But again, if one of your teammates goes down in the zombies map, you might as well just <laughs> Yeah, if your teammates... I never... I played solos, though, mostly. I mostly again, played solos. too random of a map, and it doesn't really go with what they were trying to go for. <sighs> yeah. Jacks, I know a lot of people don't like them. I, 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 I'm not a fan of jumping jacks. We ride with it. Okay. But it's all right. Yo, is that Charlie? Yo, what up, Charlie? How you doing? Welcome, Charlie. Wait, Alpha? Oh, Alpha Omega. Oh my god, I forgot about this map. No, Alpha Omega deserves to be lower. Dude, I'd rather play Nuketown way better than this. Alpha Omega is not a good map. I don't know. Exactly. And it's the BO4 system. I don't know. The Thunder Gun you can get in this, I'm pretty sure, right? Thunder Gun's pretty fun. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. If you're still here, guess who I ran into yesterday. You won't believe it, unless Ty already told you. Guess who I ran into? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like this map. I would put this map way lower. I'd rather. Oh, actually, I wonder where he's gonna put Tiger Toten because he's called Dead Lover. Call Dead will be top three for him, top five. Yeah. Dude. Yes. Yes. I, I did not like this map. The map travel is not good at all. It's not good. Be honest, the, the boss dude, he's giving all reasons why he hates it. But to get to that you have no idea. Dude, it was Kinka. I was I was there shopping at the pig yesterday, and I just heard Cade. I turned around, and it was Kinka. He's like, yo, it's been so long. Dude, oh, Jackson. No, no, no. Not Jackson. Point. And to do all that stuff, it's just not about it. I don't I like this map. Not play it again, but that is Alpha Omega. Now, I, I, uh, spot, it's pain. This is actually going to be Carrier from Exo. No, I love Carrier. I love Advanced this Warfare Zombies. I love you Advanced Warfare Zombies. And go through a laser tag on people <sighs> Alpha. Dude, Exo, tie me up. That is incredible. Pain hearing again, this. It falls into the trap of Exo yeah, dude. He was like, he's like, have you talked to Charlie? He's like, yeah, I talk to Charlie every so often. He's like, dude, I haven't talked to Charlie in years. We're talking about good memories, basketball back in middle school days. Yeah, I love interactions like that. He's like, dude, Kinko, it's been so long. I was like, we're so old now. He's like, dude, we're so old. He goes, think about it. We finished high school two years ago already. To me, at least three years. I know, dude, like since high school. It's insane. There's all these weird facilities that you got to do and weird Easter egg steps. Like, man, you're like fishing for stuff. I don't know what's going on. I love this map, though. This map. Okay. I will say you had to play like Rainbow Six Siege on this map. I still would prefer this map more than most of the maps he's going to put ahead of this. I love Carrier. The Easter Egg was sick. I did the Easter Egg. Yeah. Yeah, the Search and Destroy was bad. Oz was sick in this map. I love Oz. He's one... Yeah, true. <laughs> Brutus. Imagine Brutus locked on the map. <laughs> you just wouldn't be able to play that map. Was really exciting, but again, it was Dude, I still think this map is... I don't know. Map. Cool I love this map. I love the Easter egg of this map. Yeah. Ooh, where's he going to put the last map in Outbreak? Don't be Outbreak. Oh. I think this is an underrated zombies map. I love this zombies map. I think this map is underrated. I like this map. It was super interesting. You I will say after this game, I'm like probably gonna be playing more MW3. By the, the way, everyone. Areas of the island. I thought it was incredible. I actually really liked it. It was an incredible. Yeah. Easter egg as well, which I did. Easter egg was still the fun though. Were not really that oh no, the vibe of this map was like all well. the way up though. I love the vibe of this map. Rave mode, and I'm not totally sure why. Team up on MW3. So yeah. Why I mean, you guys can join my MW3 lobby if you guys want. I don't understand. Again, all those Once this video is over. One of the main problems of quick grabbing the water. The traps were also very strange i don't understand the traps and like how to get to power and and i don't know it's way too confusing ghosts and skulls i don't think this map was confusing that. and again it was a large map we're in a war zone game really yeah this video so we have a while longer on this video sure. but anyways coming down into the next map it is going to be the shangri-la zombies chronicles version now Ooh, the major problem i'm surprised he ranked it this low i'm surprised we still have like 30 minutes there's a long way to go
I'm surprised he ranked it this low. No PhD flopper. Without PhD I still think I would have... To me, the I think I would have Chronicle Shane over Normal Shane You're still, really though. Relying on getting the baby gun. Baby gun, and getting the ray gun, baby gun is one of the best Wonder Woman weapons of all time. To get to then, and it sort of becomes a pay to play I don't, map. I don't know. Gobble gums in this map are so Man, fun. This map was truly one of the most beautiful remasters that Zombies Chronicle True. put out. But again, True. if you're trying to pack a bunch and you're playing on public matches... Y yeah, don't, don't play public shot, matches, you're though. Sweating, you're gonna be strong. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to be doing. It's going to be awful. But again, <laughs> it's a fairly simple map, and it's great. I don't, I don't like Shane, it's though. It's so much more a co-op map than it is solo, especially if you're trying to go for high rounds. Don't yeah. Talk to me. You're gonna you got to get the baby map. gun if you want high rounds. For sure. Yeah, th th this, I would say this is probably the hardest zombies map of all now, time. 38. Okay. So we're gonna, starting to get to like this area, I think. The map, yeah, you can you can get really infinite really rounds on this. You can get to like round like 3,000, 10,000 on this map. My favorite YouTuber. We're watching Lexi. Yep. Uh, I low key. Uh, I think I like ruled at, at war Shinonuma over Chronicle Shinonuma. That might be a hot take. Gun variety. I don't know. So much fun. I remember there was a glitch where you could like swim under the water in the map. That was incredible. Infinite but rounds? Yeah, you can do infinite rounds. Was done perfectly in Chronicles is fun, sides, but I wonder where he's going to put the Chronicles one ahead then. The game fun if he's going to rank it higher or not. The Wonder Waff. Wonder Waff is one of the best Wonder Weapons. There's so many good Wonder Weapons. That's what I'm saying. Black Ops 1 and World at War Zombies just like look fun. Was super interesting to zombies. I think I'd rank this higher than the Chronicles one. But it'd be like the only one I would. Okay, 37. It is not. Yup. Oh my god, I called it. Not. But wait. Okay, Black Ops 1 version. Okay, this is another one. This is another one. I think I love OG zombies, like World at War zombies. That I think I would have the normal World at War, like uh the first map ever over the Chronicles knocked. I don't know. Gobblegums definitely is more fun, but I think just like the scariness of old zombies is why I'd rank Everything it higher than Chronicles. Is based off of nostalgia. It is it's also, it, it is the slowest zombies map of all time. Like literally it could take 10 minutes just to get to round Wait, three. I know everybody on round one is sleeping. They're like, <sighs> like bro, when yep. the zombies coming? But I, I, listen, I get that, but this is one of those zombies maps where the ray gun actually means something. Ray gun fire? Ray gun the the fire gun? Version, you are going Flamethrower? Crazy. And in Black Ops 1, you had the Thunder Gun. How are you that doing, Alex? So much fun. It was one of those maps that you camp in, but it's hard and... Yes, exactly. That's why I think it's higher than the Chronicles one, though. Chronicles does make it fun, but still. Oh, no, this is so much better than Bus Depot. Black Ops 1 version adds Mule Kick, so it's really fun. Yeah, Mule Kick is definitely a good addition for Black Ops 1. I love it. One of my favorite experiences. Now, coming okay. to our next spot, 36? I think this is a surprise... Surprising pick? Uh... Where's he gonna, what is he going to uh, say? He's going to say... I'm trying to think of maps. Maybe Chronicles Moon. Oh. Ooh, Grossenhaus. This is a fun zombies map. This was super fun. Yeah, this was a fun zombies map. It's not good, but it's just incredibly fun. I'd rank this one... You know, honestly, this is properly rated, I think. Yep. Yep. Dude, honestly, I agree with this. Dude, this... Oh, I just remember playing with my cousin on this. This was fun. I miss this. Dude, yes. Imagine this map was in World at War. Uh, Dude, I don't want to add... Okay. Yep. Agree. It is also again Nocturne Toten, but this is the Zombies Chronicle version. Now, oh, okay. I'm surprised he ranked the Chronicles one. Huh. Everything. I'm again, I think I would rank World at War higher than now, the normal Chronicles one. You can get the upgraded guns. Yes, you can. You can get Gobblegums definitely makes this map more fun. But I definitely still enjoy the old one. It was so much fun, I think. Especially on a co -op. This is definitely Rebirth game won't load. That sucks. Load How come? And I think it truly like internet or what? In Black Ops 3 with the gobble gums. The gobble gums change this map entirely and make it so much. BO1 and uh, 3 knocked are way better than World at War. Okay. Maybe. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Chronicles Verrucked is definitely better than the OG one. But dude, plain OG Verrucked was scary and hard. And that's why I think I have to say it. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm a toss up with this one, if I'm being honest. I like the because the game sucks. Version. Just because I played it with Pat recently, it was a lot of fun, and it really makes Playing you realize Pat, huh? how okay. every single bullet counts in this map. Oh my gosh, there yep. is no room for messing. That's why I think. I don't know. Version where the zombies like suck you in. It's I think crazy. I'd still go with like, the OG the version of Rook. truly your best friend. I know in the Black Ops one version they added the Winter's Howl, and I know a lot of Oh, the Winter's Howl, dude! I forgot about that gun. I forgot about the Winter's Howl. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Well, there were scarier, but BO3 was more fun and easier. Exactly. That's why That's why I'm so torn up between this. I imagine he's going to put Chronicles Verrucked up here very soon. I'm surprised. Okay, I, I think he loves Moon. I don't like Moon. I'm surprised we haven't seen a version of Moon yet. Or Kino, even. It is the scariest Zombies map of all time. Now, Outbreak was oh, the first zombies map I love Outbreak. This is my top 10 zombies map, I think, for me. Dude, I love I love Outbreak, man. This map was so fun. I love this map. The pack punch system was awful, though. Does the space dude uh, take a perk? Wait, what do you mean? Uh, in Moon, yes, he does. I'm pretty sure. I know they do in 5. The professor. I don't know if Moon actually takes it. That's what I'm saying, dude. This map was just fun. The Easter egg was incredible for this map, too. Yeah, rocket launchers should are so underrated. They should be way higher. Five guy takes a gun. Oh, then then he might take a perk then. Exactly. Yes, I know. Pack a punch system is awful. That is a gameplay engine. So you can't you can't really count that, can you? Times just to get the best version yeah of again it was a great starting map but the engine kind of took it back that's away. true Especially it still should be way higher zombies. love this now map down to our next spot on the list. this is town town Ooh, okay this is fair this is fair town is found yep yep bare bones town is easily the best bare bones zombie map we'll probably ever get if there's something that's too powerful, this map, yep. Honestly, this is a good fair spot for it. it I don't think it should, deserves to be higher, but this definitely does not deserve to be lower at all. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this map is 10 times better than farm. Pack a punch, adding pack a punch is huge. Engage with the map where you're not just kind of tuned out, but you're actually enjoying the map. And yeah, seeing like dude, I enjoy town every single time I play it. Playing with friends, playing with randoms, playing by yourself, it doesn't matter. I do think the Black Ops 3 version made by Zella in the custom zone. I have not. Oh, actually, I have played the custom town. I don't know if I've. I don't really count that as a zombies map, though. It's for sure a better experience, but if we're just talking about the main maps, I think town still is the best. Yep. Now coming down I agree. to the next spot, this is Verruckt in Zombies. Ooh, oh, he's dang, he eliminated Verruckt already. Because Gobble comes with Ooh, okay. Are incredible. What else I, I really don't know if I agree with this. I love Verruckt. I loved Verruckt, but there's not really anything to the map. It's like the, one of the smallest maps. There's nothing to the map, but I think it's, I think it's just fun. Especially Chronicles version. It's just no scare factor, I feel like. That's true, that's true. It's a super fun map. 30. Wait. Oh, dude, he's eliminated AW. I think this, ah, he's eliminated every AW map. He thinks AW is the worst zombies. I mean, to be fair, no, World War II, what does he have left? World War II, he only has the one map. But Grossen House, or not Grossen House, Grossen House is ranked up high. Final Reich is a good map. I wonder if he's going to rank Final Reich in the top 10. I'm actually curious. Top 10. I don't know where he's going to rank. I don't know. I'm surprised Revelations hasn't made it. Underwater Atlantis. I don't think we will ever get yeah. this. Sup? Yo, what up? How you doing? The best shotgun ever How you doing, Cam? Into Call of Duty Zombies. The actual Wonder Dude, I love the scent though. I like terrible. Upright more, I but the scent is fire. It was added. It was just not good. Atlantic yeah, was sick. On this was probably one of my favorites and it added challenges yep. in a very interesting way that I think Oh, easily. Has never actually gone back on this kill streak in this as well. 
that's right, there the is kill streaks. And use the death machine. These I'm, are the type of things were what made yeah. fun, and they use that in the Easter egg. And the Oz well. boss fight was oh, boss fight was great. Oh my god. I was just about to talk about that. The Oz boss fight is amazing. And then also not die from him. One of my favorite maps is Dude, I'm telling you how this game ended makes me want to see Advanced Warfare 2. I know no one wants Advanced Warfare 2 zombies. I want Advanced Warfare 2 zombies. Dude, just like look at this. It would have become a much better game. Dude, the, the fact that it ended game. like this. Okay, top 30. Ooh, he's eliminating Shino Numa too. Okay. I can see it. I can see it. I like I said, I think I would rank OG Shino Numa higher than Chronicles. But this is a pretty fair spot for any Shino Numa, I think, right here. Yeah, the the fact that there's the map, the fact that the perks is the map location is good. That's why our IX or nine is super good in Black Ops Four, is because if you have perk locations for the map, I think it adds. I don't know. I think it just adds a lot better stuff to the actual gameplay. Fucking backspace. But I can enjoy it I'm sad he eliminated all the advanced warfare zombie maps though. Before World War II. I'd have Final Reich, Under, Outbreak, and Descent, I think. Yeah, that's why I think the glitches made the OG one better. What are you doing? I'm reacting to uh, Lex ranking every single zombie's map. I forgot about this map. No. No, I forgot this was even a zombies map. Shadow Throne is all the way down there. Shadow Throne, I would throw in my top five worst zombies map. Okay, I am... Huh. Yeah, the AW zombie maps are definitely good. I am very... Okay, I think Shadow Throne should be all the way down there. I forgot this was even a map. Oh, this was the second kiss? I thought Dr. Shore was the second. I don't know. Maybe the third best zombies map, but that's still super low. Yeah. Museum, but still. I I can't say anything about the boss fight if I'm being honest. Up into this blimp into the sky and go and kill this awesome big freakish zombie. I loved it. I haven't played it too often since. Honestly, yeah. Because a lot of people don't play it. I might have to go back and play this zombies map then. I will say, probably out of every World War II map, this was probably the map I played the least, but it's definitely not the worst World War II map. I would put the Frozen Dawn definitely under this. I wish there was more to this map. I wish it added yeah. Side Easter eggs. I, I wish there was more to the map. A lot to put into this, but hey, there were a lot of these funny little interactive Easter eggs as well, where you hmm. like walk into the room and you just see somebody die and convert <laughs> into a zombie. I yeah, I don't remember, remember that. But again, let's go on to our next Twenty-seven. Map. This has got to be Shangri La on the Black Ops. Ooh, one. okay, he's eliminated Shangri La. I would definitely rank Shangri La. Right under here. Ah, uh, maybe I'd rank Shangri La lower actually. I'm not the biggest fan of Shangri La. Moon, okay. The thing is, I don't like Moon. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Moon. I would not rank it this high. But understand, I see why he's ranking up this high. I'm curious to see what he says, especially with BO1 being higher than the than BO3. I don't know. I think that's just because Gobble Gums definitely make it better, but I definitely like rank bo3 moon higher than og moon but still the first map is my favorite zombie map yeah outbreak is a top 10 zombies map for me PhD flopper in this map because of that one aspect yeah of i guess phd was better but still oh my god oh my god i forgot this is a zombies map Please, I think the zombies map is one of the worst zombies maps of all time. I don't care. Every time I try playing this map, I can't understand the new hype about it. It was ranked as one of the lowest zombies map of all time by everyone. But now recently in the past couple of years, it's like going up and up. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't see it, honestly. Level 1,034 went 2 and 10. Sounds about right. The, the characters in this map was sick. Kind of but still, the that's the only good thing about so this map. Awful, and it's just astounding to oh. Me that you have like he said all the characters are 
Okay. Well, we think opposite, dude. Yeah, we definitely have an opposite view on Dead of the Night. I don't like this map. Is this a remake of an OG map? Yeah, yeah, yeah run map, run map. <laughs> Like the setting of this map is so gorgeous I don't, as well. It's literally Dracula the movie, but as a map. Yeah, it still doesn't work that well. I I don't really like this map. I don't like the Easter egg. I don't like I don't know. I don't like a lot of the stuff. To get pack a punch, I don't like doing get pack a punch. I think this is yeah, you're thinking of blood. Maps where it's co-op based more than solo. If you have to do everything on solo, especially for the Easter egg. Yeah, I've only played this map solo. Maybe that's why. Maybe if I played so other people would like it more. I still don't really like it. Yeah, let me tell you, I did not ever get those. Were I don't think I ever got to round 15 on this map. Just awful. I hate the way that they don't let you regenerate your yep. health. I'm surprised you ranked this top 30, man. 24. Ooh. Ooh, I'm surprised. This definitely is the worst BO3 zombies map. I would probably rank. Honestly, this is a fair spot. This is a fair spot. Yet still one it's of the definitely not top 20, to but it's, it's it deserves to be in top 30. I just can't really come to enjoy this map a lot. I don't know. I got to play it more. I, really like I got to force myself again, just to keep playing it. As well is really interesting. It's a fertilizer gun. It has a lot of different uses around the map. I'll make sure I'm still recording. Okay, we are. Good. You should have spores to make you run faster. You can fertilize different plants. The mama spider as well as... Dude, yeah. The, the mini the mini spider bosses in the spider's and rounds were kind of sick. Like, yeah. The boss fights were actually so really fun. cool. Again, I know a lot of people don't really like the thrashers or the spiders, and I can totally understand that. <sighs> but the map layout is really interesting. I just wish the map travel was a little bit more better. Yeah. On this map, the map is... is perfect. Eh. It really makes you feel like you're actually... Swimming on this map is... Definitely good, but still. Yeah, Voyage of Despair. Oh no, Voyage of Despair, Despair is way worse when it comes to water. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm one of those people, not the biggest fan of the bucket system. But it's definitely one of like the better zombie maps, but where's Black Ops 3? Oh, I forgot there was MX-9 and Razorback in this. Ooh, okay. I don't like classified five. I think is pretty good. I just don't like classified. I was never. I'd never be able to enjoy this map. But I think everything else is just inferior to five when you're looking at it. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I think the actual OG five is better. Not the biggest fan of classified. Yeah. Oh no, you're definitely not lasting long if you've never played this map. Especially OG five. You guys are not lasting long. It's, it's, I think it's also just because of the characters. Just the OG characters of five made this map a lot better in my opinion as well i thought those were fun and little interesting innovations and i wish that was the main easter egg because the main easter egg was one of the worst experiences i, don't, I can't even tell what the easter egg wait one of the isn't the easter egg in classified to get round 155 i'm pretty sure that's an easter egg ever having to reach round 150 oh to uh, 150 okay okay it's an innovative idea but i hope something like yeah that round 150 is crazy for a cutscene the jump scare on this map obviously it's last gen ricked off and like there's a jump scare incredible i don't understand i don't even know what the jump scare is but i think five is definitely a lot better now coming down i agree to the next slide, this is actually revelations now revelations Ooh. in my opinion was the cult okay of Black Ops. i cult i think this map is properly rated about zombies you have this over I uh, is it? I love trying to get round 100. This map is just fun. There's technically nothing new about the map. The only new thing is the starting room, but the the fact you can run two wonder weapons, thunder gun, and apothecan, I think might make this map a little bit higher. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like over the years I'm enjoying Revelations more and more and more. I might rank this higher. Yeah, dude, it, dude, this map is fun. Speed running around 100 is super fun. Valorant, really? We're not playing Valorant. I need to do the Easter egg on this. I have to. Also, something that you had to get for the Easter egg, which I really like, so it made you use the whole asset of the map. The pack a punch was so cool. Yep. Oh, dude, I forgot. Pack a punch system was unbelievable. Not like the system, but just going inside the actual like big beast's mouth, dude. Oh my, that whole 
like scenery inside there dude that that's sick and then you can go out of any of the holes and it will transport you to like if you want to go to Ruck, you can go to Ruck from there if you wanted to go to uh mom of the dead you can go through there origins dude etc the starting room i love it dude yes Rev okay loki revelations might need to be hired just because of this now you just went to a Halo 3 mission. That's yeah, Halo that's 3 mission. That makes sense. Well I like that. And again, yep. Like it or hate it, if you don't like it, then I get it. But if I guess if you didn't like the, if you didn't like the ending to zombies, you wouldn't like this map for sure. Up to interpretation. But anyways, coming out to our next spot. 21. This is the best World War II zombies map. Ooh. It is the final. Final rank. I honestly thought he was going to rank this top 10. It didn't even make top 20. No, right. So all uh, AWs no should be over higher. This map. I know that the yeah, this was actually a good zombies map by World War II. I don't like the dark gritty setting. The game refuses uh, to give me a good lobby, dude. I feel so that. I feel that. And you can just an tier yeah, I think that's why this made the zombies map actually pretty good. Wait. Oh, okay. This is before Cold War zombies. I was gonna say, where is Firebase Z been? Okay. So I, mean, I would be curious to see him doing like this video again once Black Ops Six is over. I hope he does. Bring the notebook or some sort of variation back to it. Uh, they kind of gave us the notebook in a way. They kind of did. That alone makes this zombies map just leagues above. So this map. is before Cold War. I wonder where he, I don't know where he would put other gun. stuff. I also really like the boss fight, the Panzer Mortar, where there's like an easy... Yeah, dude, this map, overall, this boss fight was good. Overall, Pack Punch was nice. Yeah, Whistlings were pretty bad. Overall, I think this map was actually pretty good. Yep, I agree. I Dude, the Jack and Boxes were fun. You just uninstalled MW3, really? Did you actually? Weapons in this map are fantastic. Oh, I don't remember what the main shovel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Melee weapons were good. It was incredible. Yep, I remember it now. I love this map for sure. Coming out to our next spot, I think a lot of people are going to be able to I can't wait. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, I think Togger Toten. I think Togger Toten should be a little bit lower. But I actually, like, overall enjoy Togger Toten. As much as this sounds crazy, it's because I didn't play Call of the Dead. I know he loves, loves Call of the Dead. Call of the Dead's probably ranked number... Honestly, Call of the Dead, he probably ranked number two. But I think Taker Toten's better than Call of the Dead. Just because I haven't really played Call of the Dead. That's all I'm saying. It's a waste of 200 gigabytes, actually. Never mind. What? This map has this incredible experience. Now, I have to tell you guys this, okay? Everybody... Hold, hold on, let's see what he says. Okay, hold the phone. I think if you could just look past that is the end of Ether and just see it as a yeah. interesting but unique zombies. Map. The stupid oh headquarters. Yeah, I know most of it is. I found that out the other day. Obviously, have a bias for Call of the Dead. Yes, he has a bias for Call of the Dead. George and expanded areas. True, I guess. Okay, if you love Call of the Dead, Call of the Dead's easily gonna be way higher than this because if you love Call of the Dead, that means you love the George Romero. So that makes sense. That ma that does make sense. I think was incredible. You got these amazing. Yeah, dude, Thunder Gun was fun. Apart from the Thunder Gun, I know it's just ridiculous. headquarters is eighty gigabytes. Is it really? So bad. That's a lot for a headquarters. Really cool. The Easter egg was kind of okay as well. Like I don't know. It was you do me some math. Interesting steps. And again, the map travel with the flinger was done. Yep. Yep. Map travel or map travel is fun with the zip line. What's the glitch? I think the challenges uh, for, around well that's not bad still really well done where they're not difficult i mean at 48 it's not bad i feel like 60 is like what you really need for most games now good progression throughout the map so togger toten is definitely a biased choice but i have yeah way up here and on to our next spot this is moon okay zombies chronicle we're in top side 20 moon like i said i'm not the biggest fan of moon did he rank og moon yet oh no he didn't okay two moons in top 20 see i'm not the biggest fan of that not including all the small packs, the content vault packs. Yeah, I know, but some of them you can't delete, right? Some of them you have to have. One of my favorite remasters. Okay, like I'm surprised you. He, he does love Moon. He does love Moon. Okay. The best remaster in all of zombies. Yeah, it definitely does look the best. No, it easily looks the best. But still. Okay, so the reason he okay. Yeah, he thinks P if PhD was in here, he definitely would rank PhD or this map higher than OG Moon. Yeah. There's no PhD. We got in Cold War. 
And I think we're getting Black Ops 6, aren't we? Isn't the PhD coming back? Yeah, okay, Easter Egg is good, but still, I, I don't know. I don't see it being top 20, especially both versions. Yeah, Gobble Gums just definitely makes this game better. So 68 gigabytes with Val and Saw in? How much is Valorant? How many gigabytes? I really like that aspect. And it made it a lot of fun to just speed run on the map where yeah not necessarily die looking when opposed going back and play moon liquidation or just skip rounds to get to x and try moon again it's truly one of my favorite remasters for sure now coming on to our next zombie 18 map, i'm gonna guess it uh what map so has he not said he's not gonna say back to back moon he's gonna say chronicles kino oh no he's gonna say normal kino i think he's gonna say normal kino might be more fully installed. Yeah, it might be. 28. That's not bad for Valorant. This has got to be buried. Now, oh, buried what? Okay. Uh, I didn't play too much of Buried. I love Buried. I think this is the right spot for Buried. But I really think both Kinos should be under Buried. Or at least one of them. But Valorant's bad. Dude, I, I can feel it. Real heat slapper. Val is bad. Dude, I don't know about this spot. I, I think Barry should be way higher. If if Kino, both Kinos are up here. And Moon! Sure, people get mad about it, but hey, it's the best co op Easter egg step that they have ever Wait, introduced. Is it? Tell me oh, yeah, the, the Easter egg for this map. Yep. The witches were pretty cool in this map. They were annoying, but they were kind of cool. Oh, and Vulture's Egg in this map. I like Vulture's Egg. And the reward for the LSAT where you have to get it for 2,000 points. Another excellent feature in the Zombies map that I wish was included. It's the pain spot. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think this map should be higher. I guarantee next one is going to be normal Kino. There's no way both Kinos go up to top 10. Super Easter Egg? Yeah. Leroy, dude, I forgot Leroy in this map was perfect. That have never to this day That's what I'm saying. This map should be higher. Paralyzer. Keep a box at its same location, or you can move a box with him, or you can hold I think this map should be higher. I love Arthur. I wish he would come back in some more zombies. I fell and have a big cut on my knee, dude. Ooh, that's true. Dude, that that is bad. Ugh, it definitely hurts to like bend it. Perhaps, God damn it, the box. And the bank were also perfect. I forgot the bank in this map. If you want the bank, there you go. Dude, I'm telling you. No! Where's one of the Kinos? No way, both Kinos sneak into top 15, right? Darius OG. I definitely have the giant over Darius. I think this map's overrated. I think people just like it because it's fun. Like me. I like it because it's fun. Is it a good map? I don't know. It's right with the slappers. Yeah. The giant goes one. No, giant goes maybe top 15. I think Darius is under. I like, I think giant more just because of the gobble gums. But if I'm playing with friends, I'm definitely going for OG Darius, 100%. But I never really play co-op zombies. Darius is the best map of all time? No, not even close. Not even close. With friends, it might be though. With friends, it definitely is number one. <sighs> Dude, he has to rank at least bo one Kino or Chronicles Kino first. Right? There's no way both Kinos sneak into top 15. I mean, I like Kino, but I, there's so many maps I have above it. You don't like World at War? Really? I love the World at War scare factor. Dude, okay. Ascension, Black Ops 1, thank God Chronicles is higher than this. Where's Kino? Where's one of the Kinos? On this map. I think Come on. The worst bosses ever to be introduced. They yep. Perfectly this map was Black broken Ops in Black Ops 1. Chronicles version did a really good job with Ascension. I, I hate the monkeys so though. Monkeys are the most annoying. They're the sick, but they're so annoying. You and get you packed much stars. I love Ascension for this. I remember yep. speed running it for E for C2. I forgot there's an Easter egg on this map. Wait. And even I'm pretty sure this was the first map ever with an Easter egg, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know what it is, but it's we got so bolt guns or semi autos. Yep, lunar landers were super sick. Turning on power was incredible. Training, areas around the map. training, yeah, dude, training was insane on this map. 
This is why on, on uh, Chronicles version, I got run 100 multiple, multiple times. I'm back in home so I can play another through. Let's go. Including mu music Easter eggs. And this, I think he's just, well, he's just, I don't think he's basing off Easter eggs. He is and he isn't. I forgot what he said he's basing it off of. Just like how enjoyable and playable it is, I think. Music Easter eggs. If there was a music Easter egg, Blood of the Dead would be ranked like number one, if I'm being honest. So thank God he's not doing all that. Okay, finally. Finally. Okay. Finally. Yeah. Chronicles version is way better than the BO1 version. I'm glad he at least has the BO1 version lower. Chronicles version of Kino looks incredible. I'm probably going to get a round 100 on Kino tonight. I'm going to try to attempt it. About the first Easter egg? Yeah, the first Easter egg, music Easter egg. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just the first like normal Easter egg was Ascension. I believe. I believe they added in World that... Or no, I think Ascension was the first BO1 map like that. With DLC that actually added it. Because Kino was added before, but I don't think Kino had any sort of Easter egg. I'm pretty sure the first actual legit Easter egg was Ascension. And it was like the easiest thing. The Nova Crawlers were really annoying. Yeah, they are a great ant or enemy variation. But in the Black Ops 1 version, they were they are annoying. Yeah, I definitely have... I don't know. Incredible training areas. It's where I training areas are good. Most yep. People learn to train. And again, it makes such a fun experience when you're trying to get these reels and you're going to yep. all these different rooms throughout the past. Kino is definitely a fun map, but it's not a great zombies map. Thunder Gun is an amazing. Is Top 15. Now, the giant to Ooh, okay. The peak of okay. I respect this pick. I don't think the giant is top 10, but it can be top 15. I like this. Well, the war uh, giant had the first music. Yeah, I don't know. It had music. Didn't know if it was added in remake. No, they had a little remake for it with like the Annihilator, I think, right? Waiting for the stalker too. Fly trap. Oh yeah, yeah. The Annihilator, even though it sucked. It, it was awful. The Annihilator is not good in Black Ops 3 at all. I guess it is better than nothing, true, but still, I would not use it. With the green... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Top 15? Oh! Okay, good. No, Kino's not in top 10. I like that. He eliminated both Kinos in the top 15. I don't think both of them should have been top 15. But at least he got rid of both of them. This map looks sick. Kino is definitely, like I said, a fun zombies map. I think it's fun. Green jars. I don't know where the last one is. I think it was all by the pack area, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. The tapes. Yep. Yeah, Chronicles version is definitely better than the normal version. And it looks incredible, too. Yeah, alleyway is a good training spot for run 100. I'm going to probably try to use that run 100 strap for a while. Yeah, alleyway was actually like made useful. Ooh, okay. I, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of 5 because I didn't grow up playing 5. But this map is super hard and if you like hard zombies, 5 deserves to be up this high. I, I think this is an okay spot depending for what you think of actual 5. Really? The original? I think there's no way the original is better. The JFK? Dude, the, the 5... I'm telling you, I have regular 5 over classified easily. Obviously, easily. Because, per, first of all, you have, like, the uh, the scientists stealing guns. You have the Winter Howl and the Black Ops 1 version. And the characters on 5 are the only characters I would have above, like, the actual OG crew for this map. I wouldn't want... The other presidents on the other maps, but for this map, dude, I'm telling you, this map was incredible for the characters. I love it. Love the characters for this map. Way more creepy. Yeah, it definitely was. Just one thing, make BO1 version better. 
I really love that. I can see that. Only needs one thing. Yeah, they never had him back. Just get it with the storyline. I just don't like it, man. I don't know. But again, the Nova Crawlers were also done incredible with this map. I hated Nova Crawlers and Classified. Dude, this map was definitely as scary as Varuk. Ooh, okay. Fair. I love this map. I love Ascension. I can play Ascension anytime and try to get a high round, and I love it. It's, it's not top 10. I'm glad you put this at 11, though, in top 15. Gobblegums made this map so much better. This map was so broken in the first version. Yeah, I haven't played this map co-op. I'm going to click the chat bar, dude. Good old phone. Yo, what up, man? How you doing? What up, what up? We'll be playing BO, uh, We'll be playing MW3 here soon. We have 10 minutes left for 10 maps. He's going to talk about them faster than I think. Yeah. Okay. Top 10. I, get, I see. I know most of the top 10 maps, I think. I don't know what order, though. I'm curious. I need a new phone. Dude, I need a new phone as well. This is Origins on Zombies Ooh. Chronicles. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hot take. I think Chronicles version of Origins is a lot better than OG. I'm curious to see what he thinks because I like the Gobblegums a lot. Yeah, you guys can play with me on MW3 if you want. That the Zombies Chronicles version is inferior to Black Ops 2 simply because I'm going to be ranking Black also my zombie maps here soon, guys. On stream later tonight, I will. Can sometimes really make or break a yeah. I think it definitely fits into Black Ops 2. Really? Where, especially with really? Kind of ruining the flow he thinks Gobblegums ruin the flow? I, I really liked it. The staffs are incredible. That's what makes Derizen Drac my favorite zombies map ever. The trailers as well yeah so dude the trailers oh my god dude how people would react to them now. dude Imagine yeah exactly so excited to see something like that the giant robot show us your phone my phone i'm reading chat off it right now it's a iphone 7 plus it's not that good soon gonna be playing the video maybe in like an hour or two sounds good sounds good manis on the map made a definite hazard on the map that yep. felt like zombies but also felt like world war one at the same time the this is fine mine's cracked and my phone only charges off of this my phone does not normally my phone cannot charge uh with a normal charger it has to lay on this and i have to take the cover off for it to charge otherwise it does not charge my phone's broken. <laughs> it was just so beautiful, and I just wish that zombies... Yeah, this map did look incredible. Versions, but I understand why they took them out. Like, I get it. You're going so is he going to rank OG Origins, level. like, top three? I totally understand. Origins better be top three. There's no glitch knife. The Gobblegums made it back. There's no way he ranks called the dead top three, right? Our next spot on this list. It is Number nine, what would he put here? He would put, uh... uh what would he put in that top ten? That's, like, bottom top ten. Oh, wait. Well, I forgot about, uh, Space Sun. Space Sun would be... I hope he better put Space Lines top 10 or top 5. I have no idea what he could say here. I don't even know what maps he hasn't ranked. OG Moon? Oh no. I don't think OG Moon should be top 10. Be back. Have a good stream on gun. Dude, sounds good, mayonnaise. Ancient Evil. Now Ooh. Ancient Evil deserves to be a little bit higher, if I'm being honest. I love Ancient Evil. Yep. It was a great, great, great zombies map. Love this zombies map underrated zombies map no one talks about ancient evil ever oh nine's also in here he hasn't ranked nine yet nine is definitely better than ancient evil yep i couldn't tell you if i remember that end game and boss Get get him over with with good guns. You'll be all right. Black yep. Ops Four is an easy enough game. Again, yep. the ending cutscene is was also very strange with Medusa. I didn't understand. Yeah. I don't really get the point of chaos. Okay, maybe it deserves to be right right, right here. That makes more sense. Well with the unicorn strike, I know being a part of it and all of that. I love this map. I think it did Black Ops Four a very good service. Yep. But again, it's not. Good this map is sick. Of Black Ops 4. Oh, nine. nine. Ooh, he put nine one spot higher. Is Val cross? I don't have Valorant downloaded. I think it's crossplay. I think you can turn it on and off. Yeah, this is what I was saying back so many ever 20, 30 minutes ago. If you have perk locations as map, it makes a fire map. Nine, I'm glad, is in the eighth spot. I could see it sneaking to seven or six, though. Not top five. 
But I'm glad he put the, uh, 9 and Ancient Evil back to back up in the top 10. And not just random Easter egg location parts or whatever. The challenging steps were so much fun. Like yep. where you had to kill all the zombies with your specialist weapon. Yep. Or the, uh, the elephant boss. Like, I just think yep. it's an incredible Dude, the bosses were sick. Bad. The Black Ops 4 system. The shield was so sick. Limited. It had po quite possibly the bosses were sick. To all of Call of Duty Best starting room. Uh, so much fun. I love the starting room, but I hate when the fire comes up, dude. Makes it impossible That's to train. Bring it down to the bottom and get the gun pack bunch. I really yep. like that. The shield on this map. Oh yep, yep. I was just talking about the shield. Oh, my. Analytics degree, I would have to go to an expensive <sighs> state college. Not going to college. Gosh, the bull shield was probably the yep. best shield was sick. We've ever even Love the shield. Zombies. And as all of these great side Easter eggs into the mode that I don't think I will. And Jones game is uh on Game Pass, is it really? I heard that was good. Interesting, and I wish they were brought back more so. Yeah, this map was sick. And coming down into our next spot, you are lying to yourself if this is not what. What is he putting on seven? If you're lying to yourself, what is he? What could it be? Oh, it's gonna be uh, it's IW. It's uh, Space Lane. I think Space Lane's top five though. For you, it is space. Dude, ah, uh, Space Lane should be top five. Okay, yes, yes, this map is incredible. This map is incredible. Perfect for zombies gameplay. I loved it. The legendary Love this map. Boss was hard, but so exhilarating when you finally got to beat it. The easy yep. was fast and easy. You added all of these fun aspects like the arcade and roller coasters as the yep. trap and the layout of the map. Dude, this map is so, so good. So large, yes. That's what made it so fun. And the map doesn't even feel like it's a large map either. I think that's the great thing. And all these things that made map so interesting the whole ghost and skull thing yo what up jack how you doing the map on baseline. for the again, lego games yeah dude oh lego what can I even say? dude yeah this you can play literally games in here oh ah, dude okay we top five are so hard i love shadows of evil shadows of evil might be it might be top three it might be my third favorite map of all time if i'm being honest i don't know they had shadows of evil plastered everywhere. It is Dude, Shadows of Evil is an incredible map. Incredible looking map. Apothecan, Easter egg, the sword. Everything about this map is so fun. I gotta play this. I gotta play this map with friends though. I gotta do the Easter egg with friends. Easter egg itself was so much fun with all the different swords and all of that. They were challenging and you know it was fun, but the last hate that map. Love this map. Incredible. It should be top three. I respect it being number six though. It makes sense. And there's no cohesion at times with the map, but again, there's an excellent pack bunch system where you yep. have to explore. It's a hardcore map, but I think it's integral for all zombies play. The meatballs map. were fun. And coming down to our next spot, top five. The really good ones top five. Are. Okay, top five. He hasn't ranked OG Origins, I guess. He hasn't ranked Grad Crovey, Call of the Dead, DE. And I'm missing one. I bet you that. Uh, oh, Mob of the Dead. Okay, those should be the top five maps, I believe. Did he rank Chronicles Moon and OG Moon? I don't know if he did. It's like my least favorite. Yeah, that's crazy. If my friend doesn't answer, sounds good. I understand, though. You either love or you hate Shadows. Ooh, okay. Well, the Rise and Drag is my favorite map of all time. No way Call of the Dead should be this high. No way Call of the Dead is going to sneak into top three. Yeah. The Easter egg was, this was my first Easter egg like I ever did. Love the Easter egg. Love the bows. What is he ranking? Call the Dead has to be next, please. There's no way he ranks Call the Dead top three. This map should be way higher if I'm being honest. Weren't too OP, like I guess you could run a head drama, but they weren't really that bad. Head drama, also a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yep, Black Ops 3. love this. Going to Probably my favorite zombies map of all time. Down to our next spot, we have Mob of the Dead. Ooh, Mob of the Dead is four. There's no way. So, Call of the Dead is gonna be he's gonna rank Gorod one, Call of the Dead three, and then Origin should at least be two. Call the dead, please be next. He ain't answer. L. L friend. Yep. I'm surprised he didn't ring Call of the Dead number two. Or three. Really? Call of the Dead is higher? It, oh my god, it's so much better than Blood of the Dead. The trailer is the best trailer in Zombies of all time. Best trailer of Zombies of all time. I don't care. 
saved my YouTube channel. Comment down <laughs> into our number three spot. Please be called dead. Oh my god, Call of the Dead's like two. Said, There's no way Call of the Dead's gonna be two or one. Ain't no way. I like I said earlier, I prefer I prefer the new Origins, Chronicles Origins over OG, but at least it's Origins. How is Call of the Dead two? There's no way. There's no way. Gorod has to be one for him, right? Gorod's top ten for me. In the same school again. Big, big W. Really just tell with the progression and the flow of the Black Ops 2 version. Yep. Sure, it's harder. Okay. Two hits it is definitely way harder. That's why I think I like the O3 better. It doesn't matter. This map works with any of them. The speedrun addiction that the community was on with this map yep. was what made this Oh, yeah. Speedrun. Dude, there's a new speedrun like every other month. All the world records that people got with getting sub hour runs on the map. Yep. I don't even understand. Easter eggs how are fun. Possible. It was truly one of those maps that you'll never get old of and that people will continue playing until probably yep. their death and now yeah. coming down to our top True. number 2 spot I know please be called it dead at least with me, but I'm gonna yes our number two spot i disagree of the dead. no I'm way out of I every single zombies map of all time call of the dead is 2 there's just no way so chambers making the best at making zombies not even close they're definitely dead last call me whatever hell you want this is a great map it has possibly <sighs> there's no way this should be Ever. It's so uh, interesting to the characters are sick celebrity characters Drake Greg Romero whatever it is, is sick I incredible I don't know think, like how maps like Shangri La or even some other maps <sighs> Dude. incorporate zip lines at all I don't even yeah understand that looking at call of the dead the maps Easter egg was so much fun with the door and just seeing all Easter egg was okay the I think it's I think it's, I think it's overrated I really liked it and that guy not meant for high round, but yeah, no, no, I, I don't think has anyone ever got round 100 on this. I don't think one person's ever got round 100 on Call of the Dead yet. Casual map at its finest, and of course, George most casual Romero map is that what you just said? Casual, like, no way, the map was not meant for high round, but that's what made it fun. It was just a casual map. I don't think this map's casual at all. There's just at no way for new course, players, George there's Romero no way this is a casual map. They'll never find Jug. Okay, so number one map of all time is Grand Crophy. I don't think it's number one of all time. I would rank it top ten. It's Gorod. I don't think it. I don't think it's one. Mm. <sighs> okay. Yeah, generator exactly. Uh, make more money. It depends. Live streaming's only good for like donations. Uh, but definitely making videos is better for money for YouTube. Hundred percent. Ryan, well, he got Ryan one hundred on it. He died like four times on seventy one on this map. Yeah. I don't know though. Was perfect, man, and the gauntlet is sick. Thanks, yeah. The, little baby, you can't even tell me the gauntlet was sick. The, the shield is the, the best shield we've ever got. I can see it sneaking into top five. Okay. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. This took leave a like, subscribe. You guys know Lex. That is Lex. Yeah. Do I just, do I agree with that? Uh, not fully. Not fully. It, it was interesting to see, though. Let me tell you, it was interesting to see.